Marcus Salka of Austria, the next to challenge the world champion in Super G from Lillehammer in January of this year and a bronze medalist in the Super G in Pyeongchang in 2018. Same sport class as our leader Liang and the first time spent 800 separate the two. Yeah, this will be a real battle of the 9-1 category skiers, I think, today. Salker with lots of experience and uh, exit of high toy bow will be really where his make or break turn comes. I think, oh, he's gone straight here. Not moving near high toy bow yet. That was a good escape from Salker. I'm not quite sure what he did, but a very uncharacteristic line error. Cost him. He's 0.32 off the pace. This needs to be clean and quick. Yeah, and this long sweeping right foot turn is on his less strong side. He's got to set up well for it, give himself some space. Does just that, loads up as best he can, or get both his feet planted well. Well, he's found time. He's found over half a second through the high throw ball, and Salka has the green light at the last intermediate. Oh, this could be close, he's strong, he's very heavy as Marcus Salker. He's carrying great momentum and pace as he comes to final drop. 109.11 is Liang's time, here comes Salker, can he take it away? No, he can't! He loses over half a second through the canyon and he slides into second place. Ah, that's an important scalp, it's still very early on in this competition. Salker can't believe his luck, but yeah, what could I do, he says. Cracking turn here, but there, a little wobble, and he didn't quite get the setup as far out to his right as he would have liked for that exit from high toy.